What's up YouTube, it's Adam from Blackfoot Sharks here again. Uh, I'm just going to do a couple of Zippo products for you today. I am a smoker, uh, I do carry around a Zippo with me no matter what, everywhere I go, I've always got one in my pocket. Uh, I do carry an EDC bag and I've usually always got a can of gas in there because that's just the way I am, I like to be prepared. Uh, I love Zippos, I've always liked them, I have got quite a few, that's just the way it is. So I am uh, a pro Zippo person and I've got a couple of Zippo things that I've received quite recently, one for Christmas, one just before Christmas, and I thought I'd do a little review for them. The first one I'm going to do is one I got for Christmas, my girlfriend got it for me which is very kind, and it's the Zippo Fire uh, Fire Firestarter Kit. It's it's something I hadn't actually seen, uh, so I was pretty impressed when I opened it up and I saw exactly what, exactly what it was. It is, as it says, a fire starter kit. It's from their outdoor line. Uh, they have got some good stuff on their outdoor line. I just hadn't seen this. So when you know when this came, I was pretty impressed. It's it looks like a normal Zippo. Well, maybe a bit different. It looks a bit like the the. the the uh, the butane zippo they do compared to a normal zippo size it is bigger it is a little bit thicker and weight wise it is a tiny bit heavier but it is pretty cool for what it is it has got this kind of o-ring style rubber going all the way around to uh, to make it waterproof so if once you put that down and give it a good a good close that is now waterproof I wouldn't put it in the bath or anything like that, but as as far as um, you know, it raining that kind of thing, it's not going to get wet. Inside, you have these little tinder sticks, and what they advise you to do is just pull one out. Where, you know, and you can get them out individually. Pull them out, open them up, and then this little bad boy here kicks out a spark like no one's business. It. It is removable, you can just put a, a normal Zippo flint in, just unwind that and put a normal one in. So it is a very little handy thing to do. Have this with you in your maybe your camping gear or just stick it in the bottom of your bag. You're never going to notice it's there. It's not like you can light a cigarette from it, but if you're that desperate to light a bag, I'm sure you can ask someone to borrow theirs. So that's pretty much all the information I can give about this. The tinder sticks are available from the Zippo uh, stockists. You can, you know, order them over the internet and you can restock it. But it's the kind of thing that you're only really ever going to need to use in an emergency. So I've obviously got a Zippo with me and I carry some, you know, in my survival pack I've got a uh, some some waterproof matches and a spare zippo in there as well because that's the way I am but this is kind of last ditch you really really need to create a spark for you know and have some tinder that is waterproof and dry then this comes in handy and because it was a present I'm really really happy with it it's got this black matte finish and it looks pretty smart I'm really really happy with it big thanks to my girlfriend for um, for getting that to me for Christmas so that's the first one and second second thing I have and it kind of kind of goes side by side with that but not really you'll see what I mean it is this Zippo canister this is to house I would say enough to fill maybe twice the Zippo it's it's something that I looked at a little while ago and I thought yeah I could do one of them but I didn't get around to getting it and then just before Christmas I decided to treat myself you know when you're doing that Christmas shopping and you end up buying stuff for yourself this is one of the things I got comes with a little clip and um, on here what you have is a little piece of rubber that you can start splot a slot a spare flint into I carry a tin around with my tobacco in it and I've got a little pack of flints in there but I just thought I'd shove one in here anyway and then this little disc is to undo the flint um, the screw that holds the flints in that is meant for that so you know not that you really need it I can just use anything to undo that but that's what it's there for and then it, it comes apart in a few 
pieces so the lid undoes just like that and then you have the secondary lid which is uh, always good because my one concern about this when I when I saw it was that you know gas evaporates and I just didn't want it to to evaporate and be totally pointless but it is airtight I filled this up when I first got it um, I'd say probably about a month ago and it has as much gas in there as when I got it got a little um, air hole so when the gas comes out when you're pouring it it can draw air in and it comes out in a bit of a better a bit of, you know better drops um, you tighten that up nice and tight and then just below where it says Zippo there this whole bottom section comes apart here and this is the the bit that I was impressed to see when you look in there it has got a rubber gasket which is uh, the main thing you know I didn't fill it right to the top because I just wasn't going to but uh, it has got a rubber gasket it does seal down really tight um, which is always nice uh, really impressed with this little thing I can't see me ever really getting to the point where it runs out because like I said earlier I do carry uh, a tin of gas around with me should that tin of gas run out then yeah okay maybe I've got this but I am pretty regular with filling up my lighters anyway because like I said I'm a smoker and uh, once you do that up the only gripe I have about it is when you put this lid on and do it up because you've got the two moving parts that screw down you've got this middle zippo section that tightens down to the main body and the lid that tightens down to the zippo section when you're trying to undo the top bit if you haven't if you've over tightened the top bit and the bottom section is not quite tight enough you end up just taking the whole thing off and then you have to screw it back on you get gas on your fingers um, and then screw the bottom you know the whole thing back on really tight and then the top does come undone does come undone but the one thing I will say if you do get one because you've got this secondary um, little cover here you don't need to screw this piece on quite so tight but I, I, I soon learned that especially just before doing this video and I really couldn't get it off but there you go that's about it it's uh, it's not expensive I think I paid about 10 hour or something like that for it and for what it is it's invaluable I, I always like having gas on me because uh, well I don't need to explain that so between the two I love Zippo I've got you know numerous amounts of lighters all their products seem to work and are good so if you are looking at either of these products then I would recommend them totally hope everyone's alright thanks for watching cheers bye